If you're watching this episode and you're supporting Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino, please subscribe. Click on the button or subscribe and you actually give value to the podcast. You make it grow and you make it perceived differently. You met us uh, delivering content. I ate food from Mofas. No matter we're in charge. Yeah. This is nonsense. I'm a principled man. I'm very, very, very arrogant. I'm not anyone's boy. And, and that is my principle. We made it. We had a mayor. And... What do you do? Who are you? You still need counseling. You still need to heal from that. Yeah, I think I must use the same doctor you used after Sapayo. <laughs> Just talk with DJ Cappuccino. Welcome to Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. I'm so happy I'm with a brother of mine, Dineo Chenene. Dineo uh, Chenene Makura. Right? You know, I get confused sometimes, Yaori, whether Chenene is a name or Makura is a name. But I have a friend, well, no, what is a name is Makura. So I believe that you are Makura, right? Yeah. But we met you in the streets while you were singing. <laughs> eh? we, we just met you chanting. We don't know you. You don't know you were very well. No, oh. no, no, no. You did not meet us chanting and singing. When <laughs> you met us uh, delivering content. Delivering content. <laughs> yeah. You'll yeah. understand one day why I'm saying this because I don't know where we come from. It's, it's about there are people who sing mm. and then there are those who must then give direction and take decisions. That is why if you say you met me on the street singing to me, it's like, oh, yeah. I'm a marshal now. Yeah, but that's why I met you. <laughs> that's why I met you. Yeah. The way you wrote right in Kachinana, we even think it's a setting. Welcome to the podcast. I'm really uh, honored that you're here, especially in the beginning. I know that people like you, highly esteemed uh, with a political, uh, what you accolades, they don't just come into these things unless especially the Santander local fans. I've seen you come into uh, the launch of the Limpopo Music Awards when I started and I appreciated that. I've seen you come into Kofifi with the first because you support me and I'm glad that you came to the podcast. And I'm saying welcome to just talk with DJ Cappuccino. No, thanks, 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 DJ Cappuccino. You know, you you know very well that I believe in your craft and and, and I've always believed in your brains and yeah. brainstorming and your plans towards uh, changing the the status, the, the status quo in the art and culture yeah. uh, category. And that is why I'm here. I'm saying I know the brains behind these things in you and I'm saying I know where you are you want then to go then and, 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 and I support yeah. no we can do even <laughs> come right now no. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you, you you'll get yeah I'm um, um, uh, sitting with I would call you a young man because I feel that at your age there's still a lot that you're going to achieve and I've, I've been checking your moves politically and appreciating what you are doing I've seen you also being factional and I've seen you uh, sometimes when you're close to other people and uh, where you are wearing their t-shirts and suddenly you're no longer wearing their t-shirts. And I've also seen you not greeting people that you greeted before. So, but I know that is dynamics of a young person in politics and it's something that we can actually touch <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sitting with someone who holds a bachelor's degree, a BSc in environmental science also BSc honors. And do you want me to talk about your master's or is it a secret? Happily, no, I've, 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 kept, I've, I've kept it a secret for long, but yeah. obviously uh, it will be out soon because I'm done with it and I'll be graduating. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's not talk about it because yeah. <laughs> hey, man, pule no na 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 mo. Yeah, no, no, but you did very well. I mean, MDev, it's a very challenging master's. <laughs> No, so, no, I'm, I'm, I've, I've always been a, a brilliant student, and, and I must be honest with you. I'm mm. playful, I know, but I've always had brains for academia. Yeah. So um, um, it is not a surprise to those that I've went to school with from your primary level, high school, and also at a university level. They will tell you it's not surprising. In fact, they'll be surprised why I'm not at a PhD now. Yeah. Uh, why I'm not a doctor, they'll be very surprised because I've always been an academic person and I've always been good. It's not a secret because there were witnesses, the classmates are witnesses of what I've been mm. uh, able to do in class. And, and, and I think I've delayed myself in terms of my academics, but 
yeah, time is still there. Like you have said, I'm a young man and yeah, I still have time. I think what, what, what I like about, especially, I know that you are doing it with University of Limpop, the MDEV there is one of the most organized uh, programs at the university. And the quality, at some point I wanted to do it too. And I think maybe in future I'll also enroll for it. It's one program and like I want to congratulate you, especially that you are at the end, especially that now your thesis is being edited, so it means you're done. But, but I want us to go back, Dineo. I want to know where you come from, where you were born, where you grew up. I want, I'm interested in your upbringing because, you know, sometimes we see people doing great things and if you get to understand where they come from, that's where you even, you can draw inspiration and say, I'm even coming from a better background than this person. Yeah, I think um, I'm told I was born and raised, not born and raised, I was born somewhere in Louis Trichard, I think a hospital in Louis Trichard. And mm -hmm. I was raised somewhere in Mukopani, few years nyana before I went. But I, 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 I can clearly say that, in terms of my awareness, where I started to know that I exist, and I've, I've been all my life, I've been in the dusty streets of Chewing in Muleji. So mm -hmm. I'm a boy from Muleji, despite the hospital and the clinics. You are contesting Wanabo uh, Swesi, No, Wanabo uh, you know, you know, you know, it, it, it is not like that. Wanabo Swesi is inspired by, by me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but uh, we are from one village. I grew. He is older than me, obviously. He was playing soccer when I knew him when we were growing. No, really. He was not good though. Uh -huh. He was not good. He was very bad. Yeah. But the family, it's a family of soccer. He was the, the only bad person in terms of soccer when I knew him. And he was a very a, a church goer. He was seriously a brother, John. And then oh. Jiggy Jiggy now is an influencer. Now he's, but he's promoting alcohol. Yeah, mm. No, he's not promoting alcohol. No, it's, no, I've seen him. No, he's, on, he's working. <laughs> he's on duty. And, and he's doing very well. And we are proud of him. And we support each other. The good thing about him is that he's a very humble person. No, he's not a jealous person. He supports every initiative that we do at home. We support him too. Mm. And, and I wish him the greatest in his endeavor. You know the beauty of a podcast? Ne? Yeah. When you don't pick us up, sound. You must tell us, Skawar. <laughs> or what? <laughs> you must just tell us. Yeah. That's the beauty right there. Okay, no, lovely. But the, uh, your primary school, where, where was it? I started my primary school, school at Matlodumela Primary School. Yeah. It's based in Chibi. Mm -hmm. And then and then I went to the same yard. In the same yard, I went to my lower primary, Matlodumela Primary School. And then I went to my higher primary. Mm -hmm. You know, there is lower primary and higher primary at Osian Tswan in Chiving, then I moved to high school at Mpatalatzal, oh. which is at Ramashashani. That is where I started my grade seven, is it seven? By grade eight to, to, to 12, yeah. Mm. I think from, from one to from five, yeah. Oh. We, yeah, so I, mm. I might confuse the two because the grades and the forms, but I know it's from from, from one to from five, I did it at Mpatalatzani secondary school. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a Roman Catholic school, but uh, in fact, it was the, how it is situated is that if you can't afford Pax and Mozumaria, then come to Mpatalaza. So no. we, the less affording, had you the to ones who were paying school fees are forty rand. No, I think it was one fifty. One fifty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I still remember we paid forty rand, and we used to strike and say it's a lot. Oh, well, can you imagine where we come from? I think we can share that. Yeah, I think yeah. it's because of the value, the the rent value, and mm. and, and 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 times because. If you check the same 150 now, it's nothing to you, Capuchin. Mm. But then it was because the value was then at another level. Uh, but it was it was a lot because remember we used to have five cent, two cent, being yeah. able to go to the. We spazzers. used to carry yeah. five friends. Five friends. No, and five. Five, five rands, was a lot. Five friends. You used to have quarter, and have a drink. About yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, I think I think that was because of the value and. Obviously, you are older than me. I think the Fortran then, the Fortran then was too massive than now when yeah. I I was coming. But I think from our side, uh, the reality is that we we were able to 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 pay that one fifty, and it was be a bit less. Though parents will start to have hardships mm. in terms of raising that money, but that is where we come from. But we're paying school fees. I'm I'm happy that now. That thing has been eradicated. No one is paying school fees, but I'll not go there because I don't want to 
sound political uh, in this mm. podcast. Yeah, but but I think that is that. So Mpatalatsane was uh, a deputy high grade school. Okay. We the less people in terms of our class will go to Mpatalatsane because we can't afford Motsmaria and and Pex. And your throughout your schooling ne, from grade 1 to grade 12. Uh, what is your fondest moment of feeling what, like this thing shaped the way you looked at life, how you got to be self-driven? Is there anything, maybe was there a teacher who said something to you or a, uh, did you look at maybe the conditions around and say, I need to make something come up my life? I think Cappuccino, and, and this is what people don't believe, you know, it's painful. I'm, 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 and, and I'm telling you, I've told few people, I've not told even my parents. But mm. I believe that uh, they will see this and yeah, and and they will know mm. that Chinona from primary at my lower prima, primary, I ate food from Mofas, Gitopilejoja Mofas, and I will wait for 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 a whistle, yeah, break to to be whistled, and then I will go and then get up and just. You had it tough, to it. right? I had it very tough, very, oh, and dear. people don't believe it. Don't, don't, don't believe that. Mm. It's just that there are a lot of politics around what f pushed me to that particular direction. Yeah. And and when you say it now, people don't believe. And I think that is one thing that motivated me to say, okay. I can't live like this forever, and no one is going to change it until I man up and try to. To, to reshape myself and make sure that I become mm. a, a breakthrough to my family and uh, and those who are close to me. And I think that is that is what motivated me. And and I'm, I can tell you, Cappuccino, I've, if you check my reports from preschool to to five, I'm not sure, five, grade seven, eh? I think, yeah, mm. to five. Mm. I don't have number three. I don't have number three. Yeah. Yeah, it's one. Because I was one, not two. in your class. Yeah. Yeah, it's one, two, one, two, one. I was two. not in your class. No, you but but, but but obviously, <laughs> oh, you are going to be number one. <laughs> you are going to be number two. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but I've yes, I understand. I've, I've I've been a brilliant boy because I think also people think we are not from the street. That was the street. The real street is that one where you 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 don't know what is it that you are expecting at home to eat. Tell me about the transition, yeah. eh? from. Uh, now high school, you pass your metric. To what happened, like? Yeah, before I passed, you know, I was starting to play. I was the LRC president when I was uh, doing my grade twelve. Yeah. Um, we were cousins, but we did not understand what was happening because we are from the villages. You'll just get people coming to take you, carry bus to say, "President, we, you are a president, uh, uh, LRC. Let's go." What? what. So we, we we figured it out later that oh that was. Is it the era when Julius was was leading? Yes, courses? Julius was leading, and there was one boy called Tseb, mm. who was from what the what that I'm from. So you could identify schools there at the villages as and when they want a crowd. Yes. So that is how we were cautious people. But I did not understand politics by then. I just knew myself as a popular person who was leading as president elected. And that thing reversed my academic progress because I would I would I could not perform the way I used to perform. Mm. And and then one teacher once came to me and said, Yes, instead of passing an exemption, you'll pass an S. Mm. And then that thing was injected in my mindset and in, and it came out. You were like, to, this is not me. It's not me. And I had to even speak to the principal. Principal, can I take this two weeks just to study and not come to school? And principal agreed because mm. he knew that I had potential. And and I did that and I passed. And after that, then I went to CJC. I went to stay at Alex in Alex Gomor. Okay. Yeah. So I went to CJC uh, upgrading so that I go to UJ. And when I went there, there were a lot of activities. I wanted to be an actor. So yeah, I mean, I want to go to school. And now you are in team. town. Mabon, I'm now in fat. town. Kubona, mabon. Yeah. Actually, that brilliant student. Can you tell her? Hey, can you go actor? Nakubona, can you go to a TV? I want to be popular. Were you, were you doing BSc there? No, no. I was doing uh, mechanical engineering. Hmm. Uh, but from a TVET level. CJC, okay. Central Johannesburg College. Yeah. And then from there, then I passed. They said to me, then I can go to UJ. And I said, no, man, let me go to University of Limpopo. And when I was driving to University of Limpopo, somewhere, I was talking to someone in Vend, one boy called Signico, and then he said, ah, come to Univet. And then I... Yeah, I those proceeded. days, you, you, you would go to tertiary with just Steve Gates, how 
having nothing. Having nothing, yes. You just hustle yourself in yeah. there. And, I, and, I, and, I, and that is what happened to me. I mm. went to Univen. There is this man called Sylvester Mutati. When they came to me and said, hey man, where are you coming from? I said, I'm from Poluqua, Mulechi, what, 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 what. Where are you going to sleep? I don't know where I'm going to sleep. Where are your things? Yeah, my things. Okay, bring them. Mm. Come. This is a room. You're going to stay here. It's just wow. a sponge. I'm going to bring you food. Mm. And he brought food. Had nothing. N nothing. I slept there. I did not even queue. Mm. And then from there, then he brought uh, proof of registrations and everything that meant. Mm. And, and from there, then he was a brother. Even today, he's a brother. Mm. So, so that is, and, and, and you, know, you know, that is how my activism at school was uh, reactivated. Because oh. this man, I did not know that he was an activist. Though he did not have a political organization, the student movement that he belongs to. But he was later requested by a particular student organization. He was to saving come. the people. He was saving the with, people. to do yeah. with positions yes. or anything. Yes. Yeah. So then they requested him to be president of uh, a particular organization, student organization there. And mm. we ought to support him because this is the person I knew when I came here. This is the only person who gave me food. Who gave Did he me succeed with the conv convocation thing? Yes, he succeeded. He's uh, the president now. He's the president of convocation. At Univen? At, at, at Univen, yes. Le, le no, it's very fast. Eh? <laughs> no, oh, yeah. we're in charge, yeah. So it looks like your friends are now leading uh, convocation study institutions of higher learning. Uh, University of Limpopo is Donald, wasn't it? Slamlel. Yeah, it's Donald. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going far with that. Yeah, I'm don't just go saying. far. <laughs> no, let's let's just let's 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 just wrap it. They, no, no my, I'm just saying that my, there's nothing my to friends, say. There's nothing, my friend, they're your friends. <laughs> my yeah. friends are leading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But have you have you been in a situation where I think it happens a lot in politics. There are people that you love, you trust, you can uh, you know, you can bet your life knowing that they can come through for you. And then the relationship they are fall off. And where you even stop talking completely and like it's even shocking you know you know you know chino at least you you gave me an example of two presidents who are closer to me hmm. firstly i will give you know when sylvester decided that one shakira must not be president at the investor of limbo to succeed him i told him well, this is nonsense hmm. and this is the closest person i've been with the person i respect a brother told him that there's no principle in what you are saying I'm not going to agree. So you're saying your relationships, they can fall because of principle? Yes. And, and it has happened? Yes, it has happened. It has also happened with the president of convocation here, yeah, UL. Donald Slamlet. Donald, Donald yes. Because I used to see you a lot, like every time I'll see you with him. No, we are still, we are still together, even uh, I think... But you just weekend. mentioned that the relationship, it, 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 like... No, no, I'm saying... I'm, I'm speaking about instances here yeah. to say there was an instance with Sylvester, mm. which which I told you that even today we are still together, we are brothers. Yeah. Now they say there was also an instance with Donald when he was supposed to when 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 there was a view that he must be the treasurer or the deputy secretary of the province. Yeah. Uh, here in Limpopo. Oh yeah. And and on principle we did not agree me and him and I mm. supported otherwise, but it was politics. You know, when we went to, to, to the national conference wholeheartedly, I put I threw all my weight over, yeah. I mean, behind this campaign. Mm. So I'm just saying sometimes we'll not agree because on principle, because I'm not a boy who must be told this is the direction, jump, what, what. We discuss things, we agree, and then after that we, we, we move. That is, that, is, that, is my, yeah. that is my principle. But is there, is there any relationship that you feel like Isalea, Huabale, like it just fell apart and you wish like it can come back to what it was or or it maybe affected you deeply look that there are a lot of relationships that will affect you in politics mm. and and there are a lot of people that you'll work with and wish to continue working with on some some of the people you don't wish that that is it depends on what is it what was the problem what was the the reason behind you taking different directions mm. And and I believe Chino that I'm I'm a principled man. 
and 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 I will differ with you on principle. And how you react to that difference mm. is what is going to determine whether we can work together tomorrow or not. And I think my my weakness is that I'm arrogant. I'm very arrogant. Yeah, arrogant. I'm very 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 arrogant. Mm. Uh, I, I haven't seen that though, but yeah. No, you 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 you'll see it. Mm. Uh, keep on testing me. Oh. Yeah, if you test me, you'll you'll see the. I, I don't think I have time part. for that. Yeah, yeah. We, we 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 don't. <laughs> Luana, we are not in the same direction of contestation. So I think, mm. yeah, I think I think I think reality is that I know I'm arrogant, and I want people who respect me. I'm not anyone's boy, and and that is my principle. Mm. We speak things, then we move. If we differ, we differ. And before I differ with you, I'll come and tell you. Mm. We'll discuss. There is no one whom I differed with that I did not speak to, to say, but where we are going will not make it, or this is the direction that we need to take. And 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 to be honest, in politics, you are taught also uh, that you don't have to beg for any relationship. Mm. So I will not wish that uh, I wish I could change things so that uh, I don't beg for any relationship in politics, because once a person gives you the 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 your, the shoulder you must know is going to be like that and and in politics you know politics are shrewd yeah are shrewd you might be also reconvened back to die mm. not not literal mm. because because when you have different views you have different when you fight you fight you you might go back and it's a trap that that's that is where they're going to finish you so tell where me you, about something uh, what is that I'm sorry to cut you off like that. I can mm. see that politicians will talk. Yeah, okay. And, no, it's fine. Uh, you'll end up no, giving no, you a must speech. continue cutting me. You'll end up giving <laughs> a speech here. But what, what is that memory, that hardest time in your life where you felt like, you know, the walls are just closing in? You know, I mean, I believe that at this age, you must have that moment where you felt like, phew, oh God, like it's, it's all lost. You know? <laughs> that most difficult time. Look, in in politics, those those times comes again and again. Mm. It will there will never be a specific time. I can tell you that last week maybe I was feeling the same. Mm. I'm I'm just giving. What example. happened last week? Last week it no, no, <laughs> it was Mapumove last week. No, no, it's fine. Not last weekend. Last week. <laughs> so sometimes you feel like no, look, look. Obviously, you belong to a particular belief. Yeah. In politics, and and once things are not going your way, you feel the way you are saying. You feel like. The walls are closing. And and that thing will never be a one thing, specific thing. Mm. You are still going to have that thing. It can, even when I live here, there might be something that warrant me to be in that situation. Reality yeah. is that reality is that in politics it's 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 an evolution. It evolves, it moves, it's it's a revolution. Then the revolution it means so you are going to meet certain uncertainties and other certainties. You 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 live in a world that has no guarantee. Mm -hmm. So you you will have those things and and I must say that uh, where I felt like and and I I think I will be unfair if I don't respond to your to your question. Yeah, you haven't responded yes. to many questions that I asked. No, I I only I'm remember aware. this one. I'm only remembering <laughs> this one. <laughs> I I think there was a time I had difficulties where I was my my job was threatened. Uh, like which which job? Because, in fact, but I wanted to come to uh, the jobs that you did. Okay. Maybe maybe we will come to that, Harry, step by step. Because I'm interested in you. You finish, you get your your honors degree at the University of Venda. Then you work for an environmental company, right? Yes. Then that transition to where you are right now, just a short story about that. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I, think I from, from Univen, I went to one company uh, called Pagi Pakanani. I'm not sure whether it's still existing. And I think in that company, there was a company called Anna Waste, okay. where, I was, where I was supervised by your younger brother. You might not know. Now you'll know. Uh, I saw on your bio. Oh, you saw on my bio. There's a there. there's a and I was like, you are, I was like, this guy is blessed to have worked with the Masonganis. <laughs> no, no, I will, look, I will, I will say, I will say, I've been supervised by a sound engineer in the environmental sector where I'm, oh. I know I'm superb. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just saying that uh, I've, I've went to Pakipakanani and Anna Waste, and from there I've went to Polukwan Municipality to do Elena Sheep. From there I moved, I went to Signolo. Signolo is a company that 
was 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 formed by one brilliant boy called Tulare Madiba. Mm. Uh, he's now a very big businessman, as young as he is. I think I'm older than him. And then from there, then I went to Lidet. Yeah. Yeah, I was an environmental compliance officer there. And then from there, then I changed after two years to go and supervise what we call environmental monitors within Lidet. And from there, then I took a decision you know, to resign, to go and campaign for one friend of mine uh, who whose campaign towards being a mayor was was studying, yeah. Does and that include uh, John Mpe? No, I'm referring to okay. him. Because I, I, I remember him. you were uh, uh, yeah. one of those vocal people that yeah. uh, you prefer him, yeah. Yes, and, and I said to him, look, man, I, I'm resigning these things. So mm -hmm. Let's concentrate on this campaign. And, and, and we concentrate on the campaign. And what, what comes with running a campaign? You, 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 you get a budget, you, you organize people. What, what happens behind the scenes? It, it depends. It depends because, because some of the people that are campaign managers, these days we hear of them who are having even resources to run around. With us, mm. it was not like that. Yeah. With us, it was that, look, this is where we are, all of us. And this is where we want to go, all of us. How do we then reach the objective of reaching where we want to go? And then we strategize based on that. And we started to be hands-on, visit branches mm -hmm. and other things. So we ran a very good campaign until we went to the list conference. Those who were in the list conference will tell you what happened. It's there. rough then. It was very, very, very rough. And, and I think that is where uh, I made my, my name. Okay. Yeah, I think... Because because you'll be known by the people that you work with closely, but in the in the list conference there are various branches that are there, various people that are there, various leaders, national from your alliances and other people, and I think that is where people started to understand. Dore, the boys are noticed. You you you. There's there's, there's the quality. There is yeah. there's a, there's a potential. I was still young. Yeah, mm. there's potential there. We just need to nurture him because. So, which job did you really did you did you nearly miss? Like lose? No, we'll come to that uh, okay. because I wanted to answer it, and then you came with this. Yeah, then from there, then uh, we made it. We had a mayor, and the campaign then was closed. Mm. We worked together. You celebrated. We celebrated, yeah. and then from there, then we had to go back to reality. Now there is no more a campaign. I need to go back to lead that. Is it and possible? But by the time. Yeah, the campaign. You like you had access to the the, the 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 incumbent. You talk to him most of the time. No, we were always Update together. Update him. Like, you'll get him on the phone. We, phone why? Because we're always we together. together. We're always together. If if you see him in Jobek, I'm there in Jobek. And he's a if bit tied up right now. No, but I'm still explaining. <laughs> when you see him in Free State, we are there in Free State. When you are in Pretoria, in Pretoria. So we are always together. Yeah. The only thing that changed the relationship, and I must be fair, is when I, I, I started to work with him in the office. Oh, yes. Yes. You worked in his office. Yes. Yeah. Now, now I had to, to put a line of dichotomy between him as a person that I'm close to and a professional relationship between me and him. Did you really have to use the word dichotomy? Uh, come on. Man. Oh, sorry. Um. <laughs> But but yeah, it's fine, okay, man. It's a it's a it's a it's a. It's can a, this be a safe space? Okay, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but yes, there had to be a a a a wall, a distinguishment between mm. me as a person that related to him in that manner, and and me as a person who now works in his office, oh, yeah. and I needed to be a professional person there, mm. and that is where. And was, what was the position? The position when I entered, I was the chief protocol office. Mm. When I entered, and then I then acted as the manager, and became yeah the mm. acting manager in the office, and I became the manager in the office. Mm. So that is where we started to, the bond drifted a little bit apart because yeah. I couldn't go. A little to, bit of tension there and there. Not tension per se. Mm. That thing that to say I can't be where he is. He's my boss. Oh. Let me. It was my decision. It was not his decision. Mm. It was not him pushing me away. It was my decision. Mm. And yeah, and we worked together very well. I think we did very well uh, together at a professional as he's my boss and uh, mm. and I was... Uh, I, I've, I've observed him a lot uh, mm. 
uh, Honorable the Executive Mayempe. Uh, I think he's accessible. I think he has um, King, his personality, especially in public places. I think I've seen him where he gives an ear to many people, and I appreciated it about him. I've never seen anything, because uh, not that I've seen him a lot, but the, the few times I've seen him, he would learn, you know, you'll see that he's listening to something, uh, he's nodding. I, I could see that sometimes he gives people his numbers. That thing, yeah, you could see that this person is asking for help and, and all that, which I think as a leader, we should do that. Yeah, I, I think Cappuccino will be lying if I'm saying he does not do that. And, mm. and I must be fair that uh, he's, he is accessible. And I think, I think many people is because when, when you're a villager, mm. you, you learn to live with villagers and you start to be accessible to everyone because of that character that you have inherited from, from villages. And mm. he has been doing well in terms of that. It's just that everyone has his own weaknesses. Yeah. Like he has his own weaknesses, like any other person. What are his weaknesses? I mean, you lived with him. No, I've lived with him. I cannot say he has one, two, three as a weakness, but okay. I'm just saying everyone in general, everyone has his own weaknesses and strong points. And I think what you are just mentioning now is part of the strong points that uh, mm. he has. And 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 you'll never be perfect as a person. True. And, yeah. So true. I think Leona is a human being. Being an executive mayor does not make him perfect. He has his own flaws and other things. He has his own weaknesses and, and we strong have points. A lot of expectations from and him. you have a lot of everybody wants something from, from him. Mm. Yeah, I and think and, and I'm not going to be here and fault him mm. for me and him not having the same ideas towards politics. When last did you talk to him on the phone? On the phone. Sure. Ah, I don't remember. It's, there's been. You don't even remember. No, I don't remember. I've not been speaking to him. I'm, I must be honest. Ish. No, there's no age. Why do you want to make it as if it's a? No, I'm just. I can read. You were running the it's campaign. It's not only him. There are many people that I'm. I'm. I'm not speaking. No, but to. we're talking about him. Like I can read your relationship. Yes. Uh, comes well, like you were close to him. Yes. You were working side by side with him. You worked in his office, yes. and now you can't remember the last time. You had a telephone conversation, so I'm 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 just thinking. Yeah, this is serious. Yeah, I've 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 worked. I've been supervised by your little brother. I don't remember the last time I spoke to him. Of relationships are based on what you do for that, that moment, time, yeah? for that time. And when we are no longer together, we're no longer doing that. We can't fault people for no longer being accessible to us or us being accessible to them. But mm. like I'm saying, I'm not going to fault him for having a different ideas to what I'm having towards this politics, vice versa. And and I think that is one thing that I've accepted that we're not seeing that we're not seeing things the same and we need to go different directions and and we have taken that. But me leaving a taking a different direction does not make him less of a leader. But surely you and Sylvester there's something that is keeping you tight, right? Yes. Even today. Yes. So but it looks like with other relationships you had there was nothing that kept you tight. Let's just pass on a more. I'm interested in your job now. Maybe before you go to the job, with Sylvester, how we met, we did not meet political. Yeah. He took care of me. He took me, took care of me. Yeah. That thing to me, it's a particular line of love. No. Oh. When all these other ones that you have mentioned, I've met them in politics. Common goal. Yeah, common goal. Yeah. I want that leader, you want him, let's go. I want, then we started to meet. You, no you no longer want Tembi. With that, you no longer want Tembi. Now I'm working with Tembi, for example. Yeah. And I can tell you that the last time I spoke to Tembi was yesterday. You oh. see? <laughs> yes, yeah. The last time I spoke to Tembi was yesterday. Yeah. Because we see things the same now. But there's one thing I've observed about you, ne? and Maybe it's because I don't follow a lot of things a lot. I've never seen you hell insults like many other so-called revolutionaries who think or like they will launch themselves by maybe disrespecting older people that you disagree with. I've never seen you like go out and say, hey, mam, mam, what, 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 what. You always deal with the meta at hand. And I think it's something that you should keep it up, Kayo. No, no, uh, th 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 thanks for that. I, I will take it as a compliment. But reality is that you know, there is one man called G.T. Mulasi. Mm. Uh, G.T. Mulasi advises us that address people the way you want them to describe you. Mm. Mm. 
your character your character must then be a reflection of what you want people to see as a description of yourself as, a, as an individual yes he says that G. T. Mulasi says that hmm. now reality is that we grow i was young i i think if you are to go back to my posts on facebook back there in 2012 you'll find me insulting other people though i will not be deep but when you start to get responsibilities in the organization mm -hmm. you start to understand that now you are growing when i became the sub regional secretary of polokwan it's it's a very big post i think i was the youngest in the history of polokwan to be the secretary of this sub of, of yeah. sub, sub region of that magnitude so i needed to change in correct i needed to 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 people to have confidence in the leadership that they've elected in me mm. and you can't when you lead there you, do, you are not leading young people i led them when i was still in the youth category now you are not leading only young people you are leading people who have families you also need to have that particular dignity yes that you need to 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 show to these people that you are leading because you are leading men and women who have families mm. and mm. and and that to you if it cannot change you and you are correct then you'll never be a, a great lead no, but those up, are man. the things that must then keep it up. change you and 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 now i'm no longer there i don't know if i'm no longer leading i'll go back i don't think i'll go back because to me it was shaping it was a shape that i uh, the position shaped me to be mm. to become and i think insult do not assist let's go debate issues and convince each other learn from each other and move forward i think that assist us and which position a, did you nearly lose and what happened i i i i did not nearly lose a position i think i lost a position recently i'm in the rec of the anc in pitam governor mm. i was the organizer there the head of organizing mm and and they removed me here yeah. yeah i know you, you were doing bad it's no i was not doing well. bad you know everyone will tell you uh, or that is you see no we, we have a better candidate now who's that you don't even know the person <laughs> who substituted me i just want to to find no, a way i'm, to, I'm, to I'm not saying up. it's not yeah. better but i'm just saying that i think i was well positioned there and the decision that was taken to put me there was mm. highly informed politically informed and removing me maybe also it was informed i don't know but i'm just saying that i was removed oh yeah yeah it it also had had me because i was removed yeah. you being no, removed you, you were removed thing. from from sapayoban as president no 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 uh, it was not good it was not like i was not removed <laughs> <laughs> i was not removed okay yeah yeah um i i got injured okay and when i focused i nearly lost the use of my hand okay. and one former leader wanted to resurface and took that opportunity where i didn't care about the club i wanted to heal to reorganize and lead from the grave but he did a mess about mm. many are calling come and lead again but i told them i am too old for this thing and it's what i said yeah. i just want to save you put sapayopa somewhere then focus on something so that we can give it to a younger person somebody in his 20s somebody with no responsibilities now i can't go out two weekends in succession and as a president you need to do that you need to show face go other events and all that so i i wasn't what what was painful was the lies that were peddled because the guy uh, who's who wanted to lead from the grave is a liar who who, who leads with honest who leaves a position no there are people who can lead with honesty mm. but you don't lie about people now there's one thing i will tell you even me ascending in all the positions of leadership i've never lied about anyone so when people for them to survive is to lie about someone that's something else it's a to me yeah you are cheap man you are very cheap maybe in politics you yeah, do you, you still sound bitter from losing that position i see and no. this, is, this is what i was saying Chino. no 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 Chino, no, no. This, <laughs> this is what i was saying well, i became bitter and can, can, uh, security <laughs> <laughs> no let me tell you something uh, i i i got hurt by the lies yeah. and the betrayal but the have position you, have you ever seen anyone being removed with honesty Yes. Who? I've I've seen uh, you like you failed as a as a. What, I was not. They were not honest. You 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 failed. They were not honest. And and, and you had to be removed. <laughs> <laughs> you were. 
Okay, but but fine. Yeah. I think there's the story of Sapayopa. It's story for another day. Mm. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't think I'll ever lead that again. And that's why when I was approached, the people who approached me to lead, I told them I'm too old for this. Mm. And but they said, please bring the club there because when you are in an environment where somebody will just peddle a lie without telling you, and you see people change, it's very difficult. And I think it happens a lot in politics. Where somebody will say something about you, you don't know. It's you, called propaganda. Yeah, you'll only discover mm. after some time, or, oh, no wonder this guy was like that. But mm. um, that thing has passed. Now we're talking about you. You nearly lost your job. Yes. Uh, you were incompetent again. No, 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 no. You, you see, the reason why I did not lose it is because when people were checking in the documents, they could see that the performance is at 100 Just talk with DJ Capacino. We are housed by... Merupa Casino and Entertainment World. You know, sometimes when I want to have a great time at Merupa Casino, this is what I do. I come early, I go to Caspar restaurant, have breakfast. They've got the freshest breakfast ever. Fruits and all that. Then I go to Wild Things. I know that it's even near uh, the best park and the snake park. Check out the snakes, check out the beds. Then I swim. When I'm tired of swimming, I go to House of Asante for a massage. And after getting my massage, full body massage, with all the oils and everything, I then go to the casino to do some slots. I try my luck and I've never lost any money. I always win. I don't know why. Maybe it's about me or I'm always lucky. Uh, but I love playing uh, Russian roulette. I like you know being on the tables and everything. And after that, I go to Marimba uh, to have my supper. So that's where I go for my nice steak or if I'm looking for the best oxtail in town, I go to Marimba restaurant. Then after that, I go hang out at Jembe Lifestyle. I party till late, then go to Miropa Hotel. That's where I call it a night. Is it the recent job? I ah, not the recent. Yeah. You, you don't know what is my recent job, ne? I, what do you do? Who are you? <laughs> you, you, you we, we were cleaning and you came and said, can I do an interview? And we give you... <laughs> we, we don't know you here. <laughs> no, no, I think, I think the... The last job that I was in, mm. um, I was I was managing the environment in the district. Yeah, yeah. yeah that that job I nearly lost it. Uh, like like you are saying that there were issues, uh, issues being lies being peddled and other things and mm. propaganda machinery and other things. I will not want to go deeper into into that because I might even get other people into trouble. And I mean, I don't have a problem with getting into trouble, but. With this one, I might get people into trouble. No, no, no. Sure. Yeah, but but I think I think that is where responding to your question to say, uh, when did I feel like I was losing it? Uh, that was there, and it's not because I was hurt. Mm. It's because I was very angry. Yeah. To say, I can see even now, when you now, when you talk now personal. that you still need counselling. You still need to heal from that. Yeah, I think I must use the same doctor you used after <laughs> supper up. <laughs> But it, <laughs> no, no, I'm saying no, <laughs> no, no. But I'm just saying that that was 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 very touching. I was very angry, and mm. and and I must be honest with you. I don't think I've healed from that thing mm. because every time I I meet the people in whether informal meetings and something. I I always when I speak to them, I'm no longer uh, objective. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm addressing the pain. Now, it's difficult to address the pain everywhere you go. But I think now I'm, I'm fine because I'm no longer in that environment. And yeah. Let's talk about the life stuff now. Wait, see, I came to a tournament you organize. Yes. I think it's around Easter, right? Yeah, it's Easter. Uh, it's a soccer tournament. Yeah. You are organizing a soccer tournament. You are a community leader. Surely you are paying school fees for a few people there. You're buying groceries for some families. Yeah. Uh, and... You have your team that plays in the same tournament. I, I think, I think, I think, Capacino, you you are missing it somewhere, mm. because when you came to my tournament, I think you you also played part in the toss. Yeah, I was. My, my you, team was not. I, I, yet. Like I always, I'm always yeah. exploited. <laughs> I was exploited. <laughs> No, my team was not playing there. In fact, my team played mm. only two tournaments. Yeah. And I think you came four years, three years back. Yeah. My team only played two years. Uh, this two last year and the, the year before. Because now, these boys are saying, 
it will not be nice for us to uh, to be organized a tournament outside when we are the foundation that the team uh, is from yeah is hosting why do we have to go why do we have to come here and wear different jerseys when oh. we can represent our own team and the good thing is that that team knowing how best it is it does mm. not win that tournament Oh. It does. It doesn't win that tournament. You talk to the referees. Yeah. No, no, because we we do not interfere. With we the do referees. not. We do not interfere there. Yeah. What was we, the referee doing in your car when I came? Payment. I am the chairman of that. Before the final. Yes, because he's saying after the final, if you don't pay me, it's a problem. Then you need to get. Because payment. I saw you giving him money. Yes, it's payment. Yeah. Yeah, you must pay referees. <laughs> <laughs> but I want no, to give it to pay. you, ne? Uh, I came there. It's a good program you have in there. Yeah. I've seen hopes the young people who play there. I've seen the talent that is there. I've seen also from you know the entertainment part, the the art and I could see artists from Chebeng how they are very excited to be part of that. And then you know it's something that if I had influence, uh, if I had resources, I think I was going to really really muzzle in. You shouldn't stop, my brother. No, look, 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 Chino. We we are trying not to stop, but I mm. must tell you that that thing, the funding total is from my salary. I I I, I you could know see. That. And and you know there are people that I'm closer to, mm. whom can assist and they're not assisting. Mm. And I've said that I've written a state, I think a state WhatsApp status last to say the people who are supposed to assist me are busy assisting each other as friends. And after my tournament, they want to be my friend. When during my tournament, they assist each other as celebrities. Mm. And and you know there, we give people sanitary towels. Some of them, hey, uh, you man, are. I saw those things. Are, yes, there was roll, a bag with a lot of food there. We also do the groceries. Though we will not mention the families, we mm. do school shoes. We do Christmas clothes. Like now, we expected to buy Christmas clothes for others. And and I came with this thing of Marara's Foundation because of where I come from. Mm, mm. Because I feel that I do not want to see a, another child going through what I've went to. Because I've never said anything. My parents were not going to agree because my parents were not that bad. Mm. Uh, 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 so, so, so people, people like, you'll find someone like me who's an introvert who will keep things to himself and not speak up. So we're trying to avoid all those things. This foundation is about to, that's why you see, is to say we give dignity to a boy girl child and that is what we are trying to do and if people were to come and assist us they will see those things that are happening i think there's one mukibelo foundation foundation owned by ronima hook mm. that man is trying to assist he just built a house from where we have been able to say identify a crisis and say my man can you please assist that man came wow, he man. built a wow. house uh, the executive mayor of cdm was opening that house Mami Dupitef was opening that house, I think, oh, three weeks back. I saw that a house, house. there. Yes, it's our identification. It is us. We have, what what, what was her he involvement? No, serious involvement. Even now, he's buying Christmas clothes for 11 kids. Mm. He's also buying uh, your, your uniform for them, all of them. Yeah. So, so, so your involvement is going to assist us a lot because we used to buy for three, and out of eleven kids, when you are buying for three, you are saying uh, eight must then look at the three and other things. So, so her involvement and his hands on in trying to. She she said to us that she wants to adopt that family, and for us, then that thing shows leadership, and that is what we appreciate from her. Mm, we need to wrap up, but I want you to give us a glimpse of. Chenene in future. Was it necessary to say glimpse? No, no, I'm joking. Ah. No, no, I think... <laughs> yeah, see, I, 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 the dichotomy. <laughs> they just give us like, uh, you know, that window to see you in future where you want to be at, the positions you want to be in. Also, uh, your role in society, you know, your role in the country. What is, what is that plan that you have? Look, the, the first plan I have is that, you know, in politics, the problem is that you rely on hands. Mm. You, you, you don't need to be an arrogant person if you are going to be deployed through hands. So you, you, you are dealing they, with your arrogance now? Yes, because when you put, they put them down, you are out. So that is why I go to school. That is another thing. Okay. I go to school because I don't want to rely on someone's fate. I don't want my fate in terms of my success to be in the hands of any, any person. Mm. Now... 
if the ANC requests us to come and lead somewhere, we'll go and lead. Like they did, they requested us to come and lead in the REC. We are leading now. The ANC has requested us. Mm. But that has not tempered with our professional journey in terms of the work we do somewhere. And are you are you preparing yourself for the days just in case ANC loses power? That's the reason you study. No, I've like I've said, I've been a brilliant student from far. Yeah. Now academic academia to me it's something that I owe to myself as a brilliant student I was from primary to where I am today. Oh. Now 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 it will also assist in terms of what you are referring to now. When it happens if it comes. Yeah. If it comes. But I don't believe that if we self-correct or if they self-correct and then it will happen soon. It will not. Because it will also be a mistake. It's just that young people mm. are not showing that readiness, to be honest. We are paid. We are fighting each other. We are fighting amongst each other. We have generational jealous. And we are the people who must then take over the ship. And if we continue like this, mm. it means we are not ready to lead. Because... I'm not going to allow Cappuccino to lead knowing that you are going to use the power to destroy me. And that is where we are. The minute we are going to show maturity, all of us as young people to say we are ready to take over and we take over, I think we would have had the, a best solution for South Africans as a society. But where I want to go also in terms of assisting people, society at large, is that I want Maras Foundation to, to grow. Before society, we touched on politics. Oh, we're still and, on um, politics. I'm, I'm interested in We had an event on Saturday. Okay. Uh, the controversies were something by President Jacob Zuma. Okay. Will, do you think it's something that will cause a little bit of a dent in the ANC machinery? Not, not, not the MK part that will cause that. Mm. And, and, and I'm speaking here, analyzing as a politician. As, yeah. as a politician. The MK will not cause that dent as an organization. Yeah. But that pronouncement by President Zoom yeah. says to people, don't vote for the ANC. Despite which organ, that is what it says. Yeah. Now, you will have... He, he, he said we should vote for... MK. Uh, uh, also for parties that are progressive, that yes. wants to bring the land back. Yes. Ubaba No, no, so but, but I'm saying, the MK is an organization. Mm. My view is that it will not... As an organization, it will not cause too much... Uh, yeah. but problems but that, pro will that pronouncement mm. that pronouncement is going to create problems for us in KZN and it's a reality mm. uh, the sooner we are not arrogant about it the better and find solution on how do we then uh, proactively or reactively because it's already there be able to make remedial uh, actions towards that particular shift. But if we're going to be arrogant to say it will not do anything, mm -hmm. I'm telling you we will not be able to go and find solutions. The reality is that let's acknowledge that this is, is one good. of the biggest attack the ANC have had, ne? from COPE and other parties. Not really. It's not the biggest because mm -hmm. it is not tested. There are those who are all already tested. COPE mm -hmm. came, it did not make it. EFF came, it is also troubling us. So you, you, you check. Uh, if you are to take it back but to... But you are feeling the EFF, ne? You will feel it because young people who also do not believe in the EFF are saying, let's vote for the EFF for it to push the ANC we love. Now, one day they will wake up and all of them say, let's give the EFF little votes and all of them are giving it to the EFF. Mm, mm, mm. And we'll have a problem. Mm. Now, there is a solution to kill the EFF even tomorrow. The solution is that let's be matured as young people, as a generation that must take off. Once we are matured and we have reached a stage that we are ready to lead, we take over. Young people are going to listen to us. Mm -hmm. Now, now, if we are still going to say, I want to deal with Cappuccino, I want to deal with Mama, we, we are going nowhere. That, that There's no leadership there. Oh, yeah. Why are we competing amongst each other when we know that one of the gener if one of the generation is in charge, then we are all in charge. I'm, I'm just look, a DJ, look, look, I'm just asking. Look at me, Capachino. I don't understand this. Look at me. I, I'm even telling you now that there are conferences that are coming. I'm not going to be in the forefront of those lineups. Mm. Oh, I'm just going to be the AD. Because it's not about me. I, 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 think, I think I was born to push people. I think I was born to support people. And that is what I do best. And I'm, con I'm going to continue to do best. 
I don't have ambitions to lead anywhere. Mm -hmm. And if all of us can have that particular mentality, I think we're going far. Yes, I wanted to lead the Youth League with all my heart because I felt that I can make a change. Mm -hmm. And age was not on my side, unfortunately. And already I was leading the ANC, but I still feel that we need to push the best amongst us. Yes. And all of us pushed our weight behind that particular face, and we move. And we'll kill the EFF as soon as tomorrow, I know that. But if we do not do that, we are still paid. We are still petty, we are still jealous, having generational jealous. But let, let, let's, let's wrap it like this, especially the political side. Yeah. Uh, where do you want to see yourself, especially in the NC, in the future? More like once you reach there, you'll be very happy that no, I've served my people. Look, look, Chino, the issue of leading the ANC and to a particular level is not in my hands. No, but remember, people have ambitions. We all have ambitions. They are, as you are telling me, that you also wanted to lead in the youth league. And the time maybe when you could, age was not on your side, you had ambitions. And I believe that you are an ambitious person. Uh, unless if I'm wrong, you know, I, I know that you are arrogant, you just said it, but... So you believe me? Uh, no, <laughs> I have okay. to, but I haven't seen the arrogance, honestly. I haven't seen no, I'm the a very, I'm a very good mm. person, I'm a very peaceful person. I only retaliate. Yeah. I defend myself, and I don't compromise when I do that. Yeah, so now, obviously, there are some ambitions where you are saying, you know, if I can reach this stage... I'll be able, let me, let's even put it this way, I'll be well positioned to serve my people better. Look, look, look Chin, like I've said, and, and you're forcing me to be specific on a, on a, on a situation that you will never be specific. Hmm. I'm, I, I've served in the branch level as the secretary of the branch for a decade. Yeah, because yeah. you're, you're giving them food. No, they see a leader in me. I'm just, okay, are yeah. you disputing your game? And then from food? there, I moved to the, RIC, the sub REC. I was the secretary there. And like, now, like I'm, Sylvester, you can't vote against him. He gave you food at the university. Yes, true. Yeah. True. But now, if, if now he decides to, to take another way outside what I believe in, I'll not vote for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, I had to. He took me, he took care of me there. I had to. And there was no ANC. PAC, what what it was just student politics activists, people who just contest. Uh, when we go to elections, all of us will then chant under the banner of the ANC to go and vote for the ANC, despite the different categories of organizations that are the student organizations that are also formed. But there. but you know I'm teasing you about the food thing. I see it yes. that I knew, you know. Yes. And uh, for instance, when we said with our team that you need to come, it was a well calculated. Okay. I think we had a discussion about it. We love your moves. We love what you're doing. We even get inspired in the way you are handling some of the things, especially the disagreements and where you no longer see. I've seen how mature you are handling it, and you can see that this is not a dinner or ten years ago. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Even though he's crying that <laughs> they no longer take his calls, <laughs> but you can no, see. I've never even dealt their numbers. I've not dealt their numbers. Yeah, but 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 you know that is. That is that is what I'm saying to say, to say that uh, I I then moved from the sub regional secretary position to be in the REC. Yes. And you can see that is growth in Too terms much. of and and this growth we are given it by our people. We are yes. given it by branches. And I believe you. that with the way we are moving, one day we'll even be from the REC is the PC. If the branches still feel that we must be in the PC, they will vote us into the PC. Not next year. It can be ten years later. It can be seven years later. It's fine. But if we are moving, then we'll end in the NEC because there is no international. Yeah. Yeah. But um, where we are, despite a particular position, we feel that we'll always make a, a contribution and a positive contribution for the organization. I'm going to close this close it here because I know that you are going to come back again many a times. Yeah. And I think sometime, especially when you're going to come back again, we're going to have specific topics to deal with. Okay. And it's going to be exciting. We're going to elections next year. Uh, let now try to read Nyana and to wear my political boots so that we can engage. Yeah. And this is a platform where I think many comrades, also from other parties, I would love to see engagements mm. happening for EFF, DA, uh, Action SA, you know, mm. just in one room and I'll be facilitating that. So I want to thank you for coming and I wish you all the best. 
we tell your education, my brother. Uh, don't leave it now. You are aware that the person holding the camera now is a PhD uh, a graduate. Yeah. So you can see that how I get inspiration. So I bring these people. A doctor yeah. taking us pictures. Yeah. Doctor is taking us pictures, <laughs> making sure that we sound good. So we shouldn't stop yeah. uh, to push what we're doing. And then, man, I wish you all the best, man. No, thanks, thanks, yeah. thanks, thanks, Chino. You know, you know, um, um, I was overwhelmed when you called me uh, mm. yesterday. Yeah, you and took my call. I took your call. I do. I always do. <laughs> I always do. And 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 for me, it's like, oh, but if this is not going to be an act thing. I don't have to prepare. Yeah. Let me go tomorrow and speak to Cappuccino. And I think if me being here is the start of making you big also, not you as an individual, but you with this project yeah, that the, you are doing, the, 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 the platform, the, 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 pod, the yeah. podcast. Yeah, I think I think you know I've always supported you. I've supported everything that you did. Thank you, man. Uh, even when I requested we steal some of the votes for Limas, you refused. You said I'm transparent. So you came with uh, some chap there, <laughs> um, Captain. Yeah, and I was like, this man does he know what we're trying to do? But I know that. You are just trying to check the systems, how balanced they are. Yeah. And I said to you, give him a platform to also be a performer yeah. for that day. And he killed it. That's what we did. I yeah. mean, we the first to give a 100% Limpopo lineup. Yeah. And we are glad that it has changed the landscape. Yeah. We can have fun in the province with uh, uh, many of our artists. Like, for instance, people are saying whatever they're saying about the previous Mapumubi. From where I'm sitting, I'm happy because I saw 90% of Limpopo people performing. So that's what we should push. You know? But but you know you know you know now you might say you are happy to see it happening, forgetting that way it started. Because reality is that if these people did not become as big as they are today, they wouldn't be there. You know what's beautiful there about because, it? They are there because they are people who contributed mm. for them to be national. We have it, Limpopo artists, a lot of them who are who are in the top ten nationally. Yeah. Yeah. At that space. That is why today you take them. In fact, you are still taking national artists. What I'm loving that, about that, that yeah, yeah. what I'm loving about it is that they passed the Lima stage. All of them? Almost all of them. Yeah. They uh, passed no, the Lima stage. Them. And then uh, it, it is also the team that I'm working with. It is not, Remember the Limas, I do just small, there are people behind the Limas. And I think you are broke. Why are you cancelling the Limas? Are you broke? No, 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 no. We didn't get funding. Oh, yeah. Then that uh, means you are broke. The department they didn't fund us like they used to. They would give us money, but this time they decided not to even tell us why they're not giving us money. Okay. You know that's the painful thing. But remember this project. The end result money. is that you are broke. As the limas, yeah. we don't have money. You are broke. We have been broke since the okay. inception. Okay. We've been broke since we started till now. In fact, the Limas has made me to fight with my wife a lot because I would take the last money from the family and use it for the Limas. Yeah, because you don't compromise quality, that we know. Yes. And, and we appreciate You see, even that yeah. chair you are sitting on, we, yeah. we have to <laughs> do something about the land. Yeah. But anyway, uh, thank you everyone for listening to Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. And uh, more episodes are coming. We are at the beginning phase. Be with us. Feel free to comment Tell us, criticize us, tell us all sorts of rubbish, tell us the truth, tell us everything, because we want to improve this platform so that we can change lives. Our aim is that somebody sitting somewhere at home, when you listen to this, there can be something that you get. I mean, this guy was eating from the floor, from the ground. Yeah. Here he's sitting, uh, they drove him to come here. <laughs> There's a driver waiting for him outside. Uh, they gave him fresh snacks and fruits before he came in. Uh, he drank uh, vitamin water. Look at him now. So we are saying that it is possible. And, and we are hoping that uh, we're not going, we actually didn't offend you because it's very simple to offend you with some of the things that we say. But this is your platform. This is your home. Just talk with DJ Cappuccino. Yeah.